In this video, we're going to explain what Monad is, the unique technology improvements it brings to crypto, and why that matters to you. No complex technical terminology or engineering jargon, just a simple explanation that will help you understand the Monad blockchain in five minutes. But to explain Monad, we first need to explain the current state of crypto today. So you've got Ethereum the most popular smart contract blockchain. It's secure, it works well, and there's a ton of value on it. Billions of dollars, huge developer community, very decentralized, tons of apps already built, but it's slow. Ethereum processes roughly 12 transactions per second. On the other hand, there's Solana, it's fast, over a hundred times faster than Ethereum. And it's bringing in new users, new developers, and new kinds of apps but it doesn't use the Ethereum virtual machine. That means it's a totally different system. If you build your app for Ethereum, it doesn't work on Solana. You'd have to rebuild everything from scratch. So we've got a problem. Ethereum is powerful, tons of developers, TVL, collateral, technical resources, apps, but a bit slow and expensive. Other options are fast, but not compatible. What if we didn't have to choose? Enter Monad. Monad rebuilt software for Ethereum from the ground up. Same language, same tools, same apps. But now, it's up to 1,000 times more performant. That's not a small upgrade. It's like going from a grandma walking to a supersonic jet, or going from dial-up internet to fiber optic. Think downloading a movie in 10 seconds versus two and a half hours. So how did they do it? It comes down to four key breakthroughs. Let's go through them. First, parallel execution. Many blockchains process transactions one at a time. It's like a single lane toll booth. Every car has to wait its turn. Monad opens up more lanes for more toll booths. It looks at transactions, figures out which ones don't depend on each other, and runs them all at once. More toll booths, faster traffic. This makes everything from apps to payments to games run smoother and scale to way more users. Second, asynchronous execution. Normally, Ethereum processes steps in a strict order, like a checklist, one box at a time. But that slows things down. Monad says, hold up, some of these steps don't need to wait. Let's prepare them in advance and finish them when ready. It's like doing your homework while the printer is printing your report. You get more done in the same amount of time. It's like running your washer and dryer at the same time. It is simply more efficient. This cuts delays and makes the whole system more optimized. Third, Monad BFT consensus. Consensus means the network agrees on what happened. It's like everyone in a group chat agreeing on the order of the messages. Most blockchains use lots of back and forth to make sure they stay in sync. That adds time. Monad BFT is a brand new consensus algorithm that reaches agreement faster and with less chatter while staying totally secure. The result, faster finality, meaning your transactions are confirmed quickly and can't be changed. And fourth, Monad DB. Blockchains need to read and write massive amounts of data. It does this in a database. You can think of the database like a library. The way a lot of databases work currently is like letting one person into the library, they find their book, check it out, then leave. Once they leave, the next person can go in. It's one at a time. If there were even 20 people who wanted to take out books, this would be a very slow process. Monad built its own custom storage system, namely MonadDB, that's made just for the unique needs of high-speed blockchains. This is like a library where everyone can search for their books all at the same time. It's much faster, cheaper, and more efficient. MonadDB handles data more efficiently, which speeds up every app and every transaction. So, what does this all add up to? A blockchain that's just like Ethereum, but way faster, way cheaper, and ready for the next billion users no compromises. Why should you care? Because this kind of speed and scale unlocks things that just aren't possible today. Imagine sending money globally in a second for a fraction of a penny with low fees and no middlemen. Imagine truly owning your assets, bank accounts, game items, airline miles, subscriptions, all directly controlled by you, not a corporation. Imagine no lock-in. Switching apps or services is seamless. And imagine financial tools that anyone on earth can access instantly and permissionlessly. This is what blockchain makes possible and it's what Monad is bringing to you. This innovation has two key outputs, making current blockchain uses much better to creating a new design space for blockchain developers. On the first, every app that currently exists on Ethereum can be deployed on Monad in minutes. This will be much faster, cheaper, and more efficient. 
That means every use case on Ethereum gets supercharged on Mana. And on the new design space, you can think about it like this. When the internet was really slow, there were web pages and email. When the internet got a thousand times faster, you still had email and web pages that would load much faster, but you also got Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Netflix, and a whole bunch of other apps. That design space is what a hyper fast and cheap blockchain will create because this kind of speed and scale unlocks things that just aren't possible today. This isn't science fiction. It's what Monad is bringing to market. And here's the best part. Testnet is already live. Mainnet is launching soon, I promise. That means developers are building today and soon you'll be using apps built on Monad without even realizing it. Fast, open, powerful. Monad is here to upgrade crypto and make your digital world faster, cheaper, and better.